straight from the heart of a nation with more than 5,000 years of recorded history. Stories of everlasting love and hope. Symbols of being civilized and united. In thought and purpose. Festivals of faith that respect and absorb differences in systems of thought. Living traditions of harmony that celebrate being alive and staying human. The Dargah at Khaja Bakhtiar Kaki at Delhi's Mehrauli is busy decking itself up with flowers. It's time for Pool Walon Ki Ser or the procession of flower sellers. In the backwaters, the Vallamkali snake boats are being launched a day before the race. The boat race will be the high point of Onam festivities. The Golden Temple is getting ready on the eve of Deepavali, the festival of lights. Rahman owns a champion fighter bull. To prepare him for the big fight during Bhogali Bihu, he follows all the local traditions step by step. Bihu is a festival of farmers. The arrival of Onapotten announces the coming of Onam. Malavarle Mahabili ayi na Onapotten. Niinda taadi vechche, manja vastran deriche, tarir kiriyado mai, variyor orala kodaiy mai thana pradesh padam. Onapotten a pradesh athe lla vidigalil kaiyre chetu. Adil jadi beyadengal illa, madha beyadengal illa. We know how to say it with flowers. The floral pankhas and canopies of Pool Valonki Ser are made in Chandani Chalk. Old Delhi. The same family has been making these floral tributes for generations. Full Valuki Ser, a boss under Nam, Anjuman Sere Gulfarosha. Is Serka Eki Sandeshe, Rasht Ekta. Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai. 
The celebration is not connected with wealth. It is connected with the aesthetics of it, with the colors of it. You can find it in any small thing. So it is not necessary to be rich in order to celebrate color. The Sikhs aim to build a sense of humility and equality through a system of voluntary service to the Almighty. I'm Salyu, I come from New York. I came here to, for, to the Golden Temple to volunteer. Uh, I think it's a very interesting place, very interesting culture because it's inclusive. Uh, it doesn't matter what caste, culture, religion, age you come from. You're allowed to come here and celebrate and uh, work here for free. In Punjabi, we have a, you know, uh, um, a saying, uh, Gana de Khana, uh, you know, and one, you know, idea of sharing is through music and through food. point is that why do you go merely to listen to music? Of course, music is, uh, as people say, that this is spiritual food. But spiritual food is no replication for, uh, you know, actual food. Whenever you sort of, you know, congregate in a place, then you must have a sense of uh, not just the food which comes from outside, but a food in the preparation of which there is a, you know, very certain clear stake that we are involved in bringing the food together, in cooking it, in serving it, and eating it. This is a very, very big cultural sort of, you know, event at one level. Not just food, you know, if you go there, you will also find uh, Chabil. Chabil is where you get water. People are just offering you water. At times, you know, on certain festivals, you will get that water becoming sweetened water, sweetened colored water. Bhogali Bihu is celebrated when the granary is full. Women from each household in Assam make these delicious rice dust snacks. Rice is so integral to ritual. It is so integral to festivity. How do you celebrate anything? You get together and you eat and you drink. And, uh, and people would, you know, at times people would bring food from their own houses. If there is fresh, uh, say, jaggery, or you have made rab, or you have cooked rice and sugarcane juice, you carry it uh, to your neighbor's houses. And sweet rice is an ingredient of all of this. Festival time is feast time for everyone, even household animals. Imagine the span of a culture that prepares special meals even for ants. A delicious dish made out of roasted rice, jaggery and coconut shreds. Farmers hope this will help them learn how to save food for lean days. In festival days like the Diwali day, the demand for food in the Golden Temple reaches dizzy heights.
celebration can be complete only when there is a certain harmony and not when somebody is hungry or disgruntled or doing without it. So the idea of uh, distributing is very essential to every feast. In fact, uh, in some cases you first distribute, you first give before you eat. And the first morsel will be given to somebody else, somebody who doesn't have it. And then you will, it gives you the right to enjoy maybe after you give them. And yes, differences in religion, caste, gender or faith don't hold any meaning for the langar at Harmandir Sahib. All are welcome to partake of the holy food. The boatmen arrive on their snake boats for the massive Onam feast, the Aran Mura Vallasadya. They even have special songs to demand food. Soon enough, their demands lead to a problem of plenty. Here, they are facing the gastronomic challenge of doing justice to about 56 delicious dishes at one go. This cooked food is all God's food. It's all being cooked for God which is a much larger symbol. And as we all know that God never eats this food. But this food is eaten by everybody. And we do not know who's cooked what. And it's a big, large amount of food, which is for the whole community. Cooked by all, resourced by all, and eaten by all. That's the most beautiful part of this food ceremony. In Assam, during Bhogali Bihu, village elders are invited home for community meals. We feel very safe when we feel that elders are around. And we like to feel that their presence uh, allows us to do some of these things. Outside, the locals have started an interesting traditional game, the Dhob Khel. Harvest festivals are uh, connected deeply to uh, fertility rituals. And in these games, where you have the most agile, the sharpest shooter, all this, these would are finally it is the male who is projecting himself as the most capable. And it could be in some way related to, to primordial mating games. Festival time is the time to relive the traditions of a bygone era. Time to revisit skills like Onatalla derived from Kerala's age-old culinary martial art. This martial element uh, came in not as some kind of uh, a, a, an aggressive sort of, you know, onslaught on something, but as a self-profiling that, you know, if it comes to the crunch, then we uh, are capable of looking after ourselves. And these became in quite uh, intimately linked up with uh, these spaces of celebration, which were sort of larger public spaces of celebration where people will come together and their you know, bonding will be clothes, 
and the way sort of you look at yourself and the bonding will be you know this uh, physical sports culture these are spaces designed by our ancestors where youth can fight their wars in peace it's a matter of prestige to participate and almost sublime to win Rahman is escorting his bull to the tournament grounds. Over 10,000 people get into a frenzy cheering these fighting bulls. For them, mostly farmers, this is a celebration of mankind's domestication of the wild. beautifully says in said in french that uh la se faire la se passer uh la mode va pas lui même let it be let it pass the world will move on its own so that spirit is also there in this competition that how far you want to become the head of the community or the most powerful there is somebody who is questioning you and that has to be welcomed by the community and by yourself dusk descends on the city of amritsar performers of gatka punjab's traditional martial art are sharpening their skills on the eve of diwali of celebrating skill of appreciating skill of human skill and the magic that is there in the human skill and i think it is one way of uh, you know at the wonder at what all a human being can do what all what an ordinary human being cannot do we see it in the performer all these skills all these turns all these twirls all these handling of swords and all that and you are just filled with so you are overwhelmed by the magic of the possibility of a human being The Mazar at Mehrali is ready to host its chief guest for the evening. हम इस मेले के जरिए पूरी दुनिया के अंदर ये संदेश देना चाहते हैं कि मजहब से पहले मोहब्बत और देश प्रेम होना चाहिए इंसान के अंदर. Pool walon ki sair begins by offering a floral mantle to the mazar of the revered Muslim saint. This follows a tradition that began with a Mughal queen 200 years back, whose son Mirza Jahangir was banished from Delhi by the British rulers. released the queen the king and the royal family began walking 
the flower sellers of delhi said how can the king and queen walk barefoot so they kept on sprinkling flower petals in their path that is the story that that is how this association came and uh, contemporary records tell us that uh, that the king and the queen led the procession and the entire city was the spirit of harmony caught on and phool walon ki sair soon became a people's festival on day 2 of the festival Muslims take floral pankhas to the temple of Yogamaya Devi where the Hindu priests shower them with blessings Thousands participate spontaneously in this festival of harmony Secularism is deeply rooted in the Indian system of living. Let's take the case of Tabur, a fisherman from northeast. Bihu is his festival too, so he has timed his catch for the occasion. They go out for a community hunting. They go out for a community collection of fish or such material in Assam in Bihu. There is community cooking, there is community eating. and then there is also community uh, collection of the resources fish is in high demand during the harvest festival fish like cattle is integral to the existence of these farming communities every assamese seeks to bring home the largest fish available in the markets during this time Tabur's neighbors in the meantime are busy making bhela ghor a temporary bamboo and straw structure for holding prayer meetings I would say that the only people's festival in this country actually the people's festival in this country are the harvest festival you don't see this kind of verve this kind of joy in other festivals even if you look at the ingredients for example who is weaving the sari who is the dyer who is the man who prepares the meats who is the one who is the best uh, tailor who is making the bangles even here there is participation cutting across communities satnam shri vahe satnam for the sick the spirit of sharing and freedom stands tall the sixth guru hargobind singh ji was released from captivity at the gwalior fort but he refused to leave without the 52 hindu kings imprisoned in the same fort mughal emperor jahangir promised that all the kings that can hold on to the guru's robe can leave bavan kaliyon wala chola silwakar phir har 
बावन राजाओं ने उनके साथ एक एक कली पकड़कर वो किले के दरवाजे से बाहर आए उस टाइम जो जो दरोगा जी थे नायक हरी राम उनके मुंह से निकला कि आप तो बंदी छोड़ हैं दाता बंदी छोड़ हैं उनकी इस फ्रेज को वो बाकी राजाओं ने जयकारे के रूप में गायन किया जय दाता बंदी छोड़ तब से उनकी याद में बंदी छोड़ दिवस है हर साल ये मनाया जाता है दिवाली वॉज द डे गुरु हर गोबिंद सिंह जी रिटर्न फ्रॉम ग्वालियर टू अमृतसर The entire city was lit up to welcome him back home. Much like the return of Rama to Ayodhya after vanquishing the demon king Ravana, which is the reason why Hindus celebrate Diwali. Homecoming of the hero is a dominant theme in Onam as well. Onathinte aavoshon varena andil lyrical varena etho misesha patta divasa vaani chinga maasathile thiruvona. Naavedi mannante varava uttaraadathinte annu vare jaathri bellapola naalu juttinu melakkalum kolathi maaveli raja varu. അദ്ദേഹം വന്നാണ് നമുക്ക് ഓണം ഒരുക്കിത്തരുന്നത് അതൊക്കെ ഒരു പഴയ ഒരു ചരിത്രമാണ് നല്ലതാണ് അതൊക്കെ എന്ന് മനസ്സിലായി അന്നമ്മ ഹാസ് ഈഗലി അവൈറ്റഡ് ദി അറൈവൽ ഓഫ് ഓണം ലൈക്ക് എവറിബോഡി എൽസ് ഇൻ കേരള ലോങ് വിത്ത് സീസൺസ് വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റോറീസ് കണക്റ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ദ സീസൺസ് വി ഹാവ് മിത്സ് ആൻഡ് ലെജൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ദോസ് ആർ സെലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഒക്കേഷൻ ത്രൂ അ പെർഫോമൻസ് different occasion there is a different story to be told for different season for different event there is a story will be told on that occasion so like that uh, the performance the life and the festival they are all connected in that way festivals offer a space to paint a unified harmonious whole of humanity that's why during onam kerala explodes in a riot of colors we are not just going there as ordinary people each one of us is going with a sense of the self i am presenting myself and i'm presenting myself in a larger sort of you know space where people are presenting themselves and in presenting ourselves we are becoming something else so it is there in the clothes that you wear it is in the way you sort of you know make up it is in the way you dress up you know there is a certain sort of sense of not just spirituality materiality erotica and um, shringar color is all over without color the sense of bonding doesn't happen the core of the festivals is this coming together where you can sort of you know not just forget momentarily your own pain but also sort of you know somehow resolve to deal with it a case in question is the customary pulikali dance where the dancers get their entire body painted amma kuriya vasanai naal ola korde pulikali kora saan anga nalla kollodu nanu ellarum vendu therna pulikali It takes more than 7 hours to paint one dancer's body. Yet another example, the vibrant floats of a Tachamayam procession that represents various expressions of popular culture. 
Onam has grown out of being just a harvest ritual for the Hindus. Today, it's more a representation of an ardent desire of staying and growing together in peace. It's Diwali day. Professional Gatka performers have taken to the streets of Amritsar. Early morning is reserved for community prayers inside Bhelagohar. Followed by the burning of the Mezi, a symbolic structure made of bamboo and hay. Your harvest is ready, it's dry, it's in the fields and there are strong surface winds. At times, these strong surface winds leading to the stalks rubbing against each other led to fires and standing crops were burned. I think that that is where this ritual of appeasing fire began. That you took some bit of your harvest, some grains, some stalks, offered them to the god of fire idea was, please accept this, but leave my harvest alone. And whether it is Bihu or it is in Baisakhi or it is in uh, Holi, you are offering freshly harvested grain to fire. Down south, Onam mood takes over. Polikkali dancers have started moving down the streets, dancing to the rhythms of folk instruments. Traditions often take curious turns in popular culture. Like during Bihu nights, stealing is allowed in Assam. It's a tradition for young villagers to steal vegetables straight from fields where they grow and use them to feast. A tradition that's not always welcome, especially by the owners of those fields. Hi. 
പഴയ ഓർമ്മകളെന്ന് പറയാ ഈ വള്ളംകളിയും ചുണ്ടൻ വള്ളം നിർമ്മാണമൊക്കെ വള്ളങ്ങളും പഴയ കാലത്ത് പറഞ്ഞവരെ പിള്ളേർ ഞങ്ങളെയൊക്കെ വള്ളത്തെ കയറ്റി വെച്ച് ഞങ്ങളുടെ അപ്പച്ചൻ വലിയ പാട്ടുകാരനും പങ്കായപ്പെടുത്തക്കാരും അങ്ങളമാരും ഒക്കെ കെങ്കേമരായിരുന്നു അവരുടെ കൂടെ ഞങ്ങളെ കൂടെ കയറ്റും പെൺപിള്ളേർ എൻ്റെ ഞങ്ങൾ കയറി ഇരുന്ന് പാട്ടും പാടി കളിച്ച് ചതയത്തിൻ്റെ അന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾ പറയും ഒക്കത്തില്ല നിർത്തിയത് വള്ളം വഞ്ചിറാണി വാണിയിടുമ്പോൾ വഞ്ചിക്കെന്നും തീരുവോണം വഞ്ചിപ്പാട്ടും കളികളും നാട്ടിലെല്ലാവും ഓതിത്തിത്താരാതിത്തൈതകതയോ മോനെ അതെല്ലാം മറന്നുപോയി തെക്കൻ കേരളത്തിലെ മത്സരക്കളികളിൽ ഓണവുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട മത്സരക്കളികളിൽ ഏറ്റവും പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒന്നാണ് വള്ളംകളി ആറമ്മള വള്ളംകളി ഓണവുമായിട്ട് അനുബന്ധമായിട്ടുള്ള വള്ളംകളിയാണെന്ന് സംഘടിപ്പിക്കപ്പെടുന്നു അതാണ് ഏറ്റവും പ്രാചീനമായ വള്ളംകളി how far we try to be different to try to protest to try to ang be angry on others we terrorize others we always break the world into we and others there is something which is very basic essential physical which will always bring us back together through these rituals through these uh, actions through these communities through these uh, festivals At Nehru Bali, President of the Bihu Committee inaugurates the Northeast Integration Center, a special showcase involving the unity of all seven northeastern states of India. And then it's time for a community parade, a showcase of togetherness. street processions are a time tested way in india to bring together local variations of cultures drums resound on the streets of tiruvananthapuram a vibrant melting pot of cultures എല്ലാ മത വിഭാഗങ്ങളും എല്ലാ ജാതി വിഭാഗങ്ങളും ഒത്തൊരുമിച്ച് ആഘോഷിക്കുന്ന ഈ ഉത്സവം ലോകത്ത് മറ്റെല്ലാ തരത്തിലുള്ള ഇത്തരം ഉത്സവങ്ങളെയും പോലെ തന്നെ ഒരു പൊതു ഇടം നിർമ്മിക്കുന്നു ഈ പൊതു ഇടം എല്ലാവർക്കും പങ്കാളിത്തമുള്ള എല്ലാവർക്കും തുല്യതയുള്ള ഈ പൊതു ഇടങ്ങളാണ് സമുദായ സാഹോദര്യത്തിൻ്റെ അടിത്തറ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് get involved with this spirit the more uh, uh, large hearted and generous uh, we become and the more we receive from others two you know indications if you are looking at the hindus for instance smaran and shravan the community is formed through these two corps uh, within um, the six it is simran and sarban within the muslims it is um, uh, sama and zikr 
the idea of looking at the other is so central. I mean, presenting yourself but looking at the other, presenting me and absorbing the other. That is what the Indian festival is. This is really the most fascinating part of the Indian festival. Festivals and fairs go hand in hand. These are spaces to indulge in your fantasies. Let go of your worries and enjoy magic, mystery, momos, hitting the bull's eye, the tallest man on earth in his tumble-down tent, ready for his audience. This is the 99th year of Naugao City's special Bhugali Bihu Fair. Yet another beginning of a long night of festivities. Almost every major mass festival of India has an integrated openness to it. Festive times are times to showcase our inherent unity and throw our minds open. The night is still young. The nation, even after 5,000 years of assimilations, is still young and ready for more. Yeah. 